WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, everybody. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is the 4 p.m. stock market update. I hope you all had a good day. I hope it was profitable for you if you were trading. Take a look right now. The composite off about 1.18%. The Dow Jones Industrial off about 0.94%. The dollar really finishing sideways up at 102.49. Um, probably going to stay in this level. Obviously, major counter trend bounce, uh, but probably the market trying to readjust itself to potentially interest rates that are kind of at this level for a longer period of time. Crude oil and the Brent both up 3.94%, roughly. The Brent up 3.87% and the crude futures up about 3.94%. Yeah, that E-mini off about 0.88%. The gold contract off about 019 Still doing all right, though. We're trading at 2,662. This is a nice kind of pullback here. I uh, listened to my interview I had with Tim Ord on Tuesday and Thursday of last week. Still seems like it's relatively bullish, at least for the gold uh, miners itself. So a nice little pullback. Might have a pullback to the gold miners in order to get in, and then we can get off to the races at some point here, hopefully. You have the copper contract off about 0.38%, trading at $4.55 on the contract. Uh, those NQs off about 1.05%. Russell Futures off about 0.74%. Silver itself down about 1.32%, still trading at 3196 uh, Let's see, whatever. Apple off about 2.16%. Disney getting smoked again. Yeah, I'll talk about that probably tomorrow if I fill in. Oh man, Lucid finishing somewhat strong on some decent numbers, up 2.4%, and then Steel Dynamics up 1.44%. Take a look at some of these smaller lithium miners. Uh, kind of crazy, right? Lithium's been in this weird spot where they have a ton of uh, supply, not a huge amount of demand. Um, sodium bicarbonate itself, excuse me, lithium bicarbonate, excuse me, lithium carbonate, good lord, and China is down about 85% from its peak in 2022. Essentially what happened is Rio Tinto Group made an approach for Arcadium Lithium. And so essentially what this is doing is convincing people or at least suggesting to people that some of these smaller lithium miners might be ripe uh, for large takeovers. It's actually honestly pretty good. You get in at a low level, they get purchased at a premium uh, by these larger companies. Uh, they can be in a pretty solid uh, position. Folks, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, we're going to keep you posted on everything, uh, whether we're going to be you know, live later in the day tomorrow. I think we're going to do a full day in general, but um, we'll keep you all posted. Um, hope you all have a great rest of your day. We'll see you then. Stay safe.